we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brethren, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? Greatly awed, the disciples asked this question after seeing Jesus calm a storm. Jesus, in fact, displays the same power that God affirms when he speaks of Job out of the storm. God's word today invites us to renew and deepen our faith and trust as we face the storms of life. Let us be aware that Jesus is within us, assured of his calming presence amidst the storm. May our presence too be a consolation to each other. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. God is the creator and master of the universe. His control of the forces of nature is a manifestation of his loving kindness for the human family. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea? When it bursts forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment, and thick darkness its swaddling bands. When I set limits for it, and fastened the bar of its door, and said, Thus far shall you come, but no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They who sail the sea in ships, trading on the, de on the deep waters, these saw the works of the Lord and his wonders in the abyss. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. His command raised up a storm wind which tossed its wave on high. They mounted up to heaven. They sank to the depths. Their hearts melted away in their plight. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits, he rescued them. 
He hushed the storm to a gentle breeze, and the billows of the sea were stilled. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. They rejoiced that they were calm, and He brought them to their desired heaven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His kindness and His wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. Christ's love is shown by His self-offering for our salvation. New life in Christ, says Paul, means we live no longer for ourselves, but for Christ, who died for us. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all. Therefore, therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we gathered no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. A great prophet has risen in our beads. God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And the other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Be quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he said to them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, who then is this whom even the wind and the sea obeyed? My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang buhay po natin parang isang paglalakbay. May lupa, May barko, may dagat, may sasakay. At atin pong suriin kung ano ba ang pakahulugan ng bawat isa sa mga ito. Ang lupa po, it symbolizes our comfort zones. Kung saan, very safe tayo. Walang 
mangyayari sa atin doon. Very safe tayo. Eh, Father, kung very safe na tayo sa lupa, bakit pa tayo aalis? Simple lamang po. Kasi may gusto tayong malaman. Gusto nating lumawak ang ating pag-unawa, ang ating kaalaman, at ang ating experiences sa buhay. Kaya naman, malimit po o iilan lamang ang mga taong ayaw umalis sa kanilang comfort zones. At one point in our lives, umalis po tayo sa lupa. Ngayon, ano naman po ang bangka? Bangka, barko, kahit anong sasakyan. Yun po ay ang ating mga desisyon. Mga desisyon natin kung ano ba yung gusto nating mangyari sa buhay natin. Ano ba ang desisyon na gagawin natin para makaalis tayo at makaalis tayo sa ating comfort zones at mapalawak natin ang ating kaalaman. Yun po ay mahalaga sapagkat nakabase po ang ating mapupuntahan sa kung gaano katibay ang ating mga desisyon. Ano naman po ang dagat? Ang dagat o ang kahit anong uri ng tubig? Yan naman po ay ang ating mga experiences. Father, bakit po experiences yan? Kasi kapag nasa dagat po tayo, we encounter a lot of things. Maraming bagay tayong nakikita. Pero kahit na nakaka-enjoy ang dagat, kapag nandun na tayo sa malalim, medyo natatakot din tayo. Sapagkat hindi natin alam kung ano ang nasa ilalim, kung ano ang nakatago sa madilim na parte ng dagat. At while we are experiencing life, we are also buffeted by the wind and the waves. Kasi di ba sa buhay, may mga pagsubok naman talagang dumarating. And we ask ourselves, kaya ko ba talagang harapin ang mga ito? May mga punto sa ating buhay, di ba? Napatanong tayo. Parang mali ata yung desisyon ko. Balik na lang ako. Pero may iba naman. Hindi, haharapin ko ito. Bagyo lang to. Mas matibay ang bangka ko. Pero, kahit ano po man po ang mangyari sa ating paglalakbay, isa lang po ang dapat nating siguraduhin. Kapag aalis po tayo sa lupa at lalaot po tayo, siguraduhin natin na ang bangkang sasakyan natin, nandun ang Diyos. Nandun ang Diyos. Bakit? Kasi yung iilan po sa atin. Minsan, gumagawa ng desisyon na wala dun yung Diyos. Kaya naman, kapag sila na po ay pinagpapasapasahan ng mga alon, iniihipan ng malakas na hangin, tumataob ang bangkang kanilang sinasakyan. 
sapagkat wala dun si Lord. Kaya naman po, wag na wag po kayong sasakay sa kahit anong barko o bangka kung wala naman po doon si Lord. Sa tuwing nahihirapan po ako sa buhay, nangihina at gusto ko nang sumuko. Palaging pinapaalala sa akin ng aking mga magulang, kasama mo si Lord. Sa mga panahong natatakot ako sa mga bagay na hindi ko alam at naguguluhan ako sa mga bagay na hindi ko maintindihan at hindi nila maipaintindi sa akin yung mga katanungan ko, palaging sinasabi lamang po ng magulang ko, Tahan na anak, may sagot dyan ang Diyos. Kaya naman, napagtanto ko, kailangan kasama ko palagi si Lord. Kasi may mga bagay akong ginagawa, may mga desisyon akong ginagawa sa buhay ko na minsan nakakalimot po akong isama si Lord. I admit it. May mga pagkakataong padalos-dalos ako sa desisyon ko kasi, uy, may magandang bangka. Sounds good. Mukhang maganda naman ang desisyon. Mukhang maganda naman ang klima. May matutunan naman ako. Pero kapag nandun na ako sa gitna, ay... Patay, hindi pala nakasakay si Lord sa desisyon ko. Kaya naman po, lulubog at lulubog ang sinasakyan ko. Pero buti na lang, nakakabalik pa rin po ako. Pero what if sa buhay natin, Nagkamali tayo. Nakalimutan natin si Lord na isama sa bangka. Ano na lang ang gagawin natin kapag binagyo tayo? Okay lang kung makakabalik tayo sa lupa. Pero kapag nalulunod na tayo, ano gagawin natin? Sa panahong tayo ay may pinagdaraanan, madalis ay nalalam, madalas ay nalalamon tayo ng ating mga problema at suliranin. Sa mga pagkakataong iyon, minsan ay batid pa natin na tila tahimik lamang ang Diyos. Lord, binabagyo na tayo. Wala ka pa rin gagawin. Tinatanong natin si Lord, Lord, hirap na ako. Tama na. Awa naman. Pero, tanungin natin ang mga sarili natin. Nandun nga ba talaga si Lord? nung nagdesisyon tayo at kapag nandun si Lord tinulugan nga ba talaga tayo ni Lord tahimik man ang Diyos pero hindi po siya tulog nung nangangailangan tayo nahihirapan man tayo sa buhay pero hindi po tayo pinapabayaan ng Diyos. Yan po ang alalahani natin. Never in our life did God forsake us. 
hindi tayo pinabayaan ng Diyos. Ang pag-aalaga ng Diyos sa atin ay hindi po pagturing sa atin na tayo mga paslit. Di ba ang bata, kapag inalagaan mo, lahat ng ginagawa mo, lahat ng ginagawa niya, dapat palaging nandun ka. Nandun nakaalalay ang nakatatanda. Pero God does not consider us as children. God considers us as His children but capable of making decisions in our lives. Hindi na po tayo bata. Huwag po nating sisihin si Lord sa mga maling desisyon natin sa buhay. Wala pong kasalanan si Lord kung may masamang nangyayari sa atin. Kasi madalas po kung may masamang nangyayari sa atin, resulta po yan ng mga maling desisyon natin sa buhay. Dahil hindi siya kasama nung nagdidesisyon tayo. Kaya wag po nating akusahan ang Diyos na wala siyang pakialam sa atin. Pero alam niyo po, ang magandang balita ng ating Ibanghelyo ngayon ay kahit na binabagyo na tayo, kahit na nahihirapan na tayo, kahit na akala natin malapit na tayong malunod, nandoon po ang Diyos. Handang patigilin ang lahat at patilain lahat ng bagyo sa ating buhay. Totoo po, nahihirapan tayo dahil sa mga desisyon natin. Pero ang Diyos po, aakayin tayo habang binabagyo tayo. Kaya po, huwag na huwag po nating kakalimutan na isama si Lord sa ating susunod na biyahe. Huwag na huwag po tayong aalis na hindi kasama si Lord. The Lord wants us all to be happy, wants us all to learn. Pero kung ayaw naman natin siyang isama, ingat na lang po tayo. Kapag sa tingin natin ay hindi na natin kaya mag-isa ang ating mga problema, huwag po nating kakalimutan. Si Lord po present din sa ating mga kapamilya at sa ating mga kaibigan. Never in our lives did God really abandon us. Kaya po, wag po tayong panghinaan ng loob and let us enjoy the journey of our lives. Please all stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to God, our Father, that with this power we may weather the storms of life. Let our response be, Lord, save your people. Lord, save your people. For the church, the boat of Peter, that it may not lose heart when the storms of persecution and dissension threaten to sink it, we pray. Lord, save your people. For our government and civil leaders, that they may spare no effort to bring peace to places where rebellion and armed conflict are destroying lives and homes, we pray. Lord, hear our That political and civil leaders may desist from going after instant popularity and political windfalls, but pursue what is truly beneficial for the people, we pray. Lord, save your people. For families beset by continual fighting and for homes threatened by the surging waves of unemployment and poverty, that they may find in Jesus the will to weather these storms, we pray. Lord, save your people. For our beloved departed, that the Lord may lead them safely home to heaven and fulfill their faith and hope, we pray. Lord, save your people. For the eternal repose of the soul of Sister Maria Abigail R. Colombino, we pray. Lord, save your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, save your people. Father, amidst the various storms of life, let us again hear the voice of your Son. Quiet, be still. May we find peace in our hearts and in one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial vic victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
may He make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Dominic de Guzman, Saint Martin de Porres, Saint Juan Macias, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please, the, please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that, we, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad. We continue to pray for our loved ones and everyone. Sana po lahat po tayo ay ilayo sa kapahamakan and wherever we go, remember, always siguraduhin na kasama si Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads for the blessing. Bestow pardon and peace, O Lord, we pray, upon your faithful, that they may be cleansed from every offense and serve you with untroubled heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the blessing for the sick. By your blessing, we give. By your blessing, you, God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick sisters and brothers, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing for the rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.